waxing cold after the holidays. We're just wrapping up 2010. Ever consider bankruptcy as an option? Well, Todd Malays is here this morning to help us sort through some options. Attorney Todd is the owner of the Malays Law Firm. Todd, thank you for being here thank again. You. This I'll is pleasure. always a topic that generates a lot of interest because it used to be years ago it was like bankruptcy was the bad word. Not so much anymore because people are finding it as a viable option to some, some stressful financial times. Tell us a little bit about what bankruptcy is, Todd. Define it for us. Bankruptcy is federal law that allows somebody to basically get rid of their debt. If they can't afford to pay uh, medical bills, credit mm -hmm. cards, it allows them an opportunity to get rid of that debt, give them some breathing room and allows them to get back on track. Okay, and of course there are some commonly asked questions for people who might be considering this as an option. You have a fantastic interactive website. Tell yes. us a little bit about what people can find on the website before they even have to pay you a visit. Well, some people have questions about bankruptcy, but they don't want to call. They don't want to come mm -hmm. into the office. They just have some general questions. Yes. So we created this very powerful website mm -hmm. that has uh, frequently asked questions. Okay. And uh, this way you can go get the answers to your questions without having to even give us a call. Okay. Um, after you get the answers to your questions, then hopefully you'll call and we can talk in more there. detail. In addition, we have um, not just words that you can read. I have videos where I'm at actually answering these questions and spending some time talking about uh, the answers in general. That way, my goal is to get you more information mm -hmm. and that way you can be fully informed. I am finding that there are a lot of people I meet with have already gone to the website and they're, sure. they're fully informed when they come in. Some of the, 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 the more typical questions are what types of bankruptcy are there and how does someone qualify for bankruptcy? Yes, there are two types of bankruptcy that consumers may qualify for. Chapter 7 bankruptcy mm -hmm. and a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Chapter 7 bankruptcy allows somebody to eliminate or wipe away their unsecured debt, credit okay. cards, medical bills, and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, chapter 13 bankruptcy allows uh, people to consolidate their debt into one monthly payment. For example, if they are behind on a uh, mortgage payment or a car payment, it allows them to get caught up on their terms, not the mortgage company's terms. Okay, okay. Now, uh, one question people always have is, you know, if I file for bankruptcy, will I lose my property? You know, what are the long-term ramifications? Th that is a, a question I hear quite often. Mm -hmm. And basically, with a bankruptcy, it is rare that somebody does lose property. Okay. And we know going in. Uh, whether that will happen or not, but basically you keep your house, you keep your cars. So okay, forth. I gotta ask you, are you seeing a lot of people, is it more common now to see people coming in and filing for bankruptcy? It is, and over the last three years we're seeing all types of people okay. come in. Before it was more blue collar people, people that live paycheck by paycheck. But right. The, the economy has really taken its toll on people, and we're seeing people with white collar jobs, people that made over 100000 a year, mm -hmm. they got laid off, and now they're making 30000 a year, so it's hitting all all areas of the economy. I've heard nightmare stories about people who've been in marriages and then they file for divorce and then they find out they've got some some big financial headaches by severing the marriage. A lot of people think that somebody that files bankruptcy did so because they were irresponsible. That's not so. Okay. Most people file because they could afford to pay their bills but then they get divorced mm -hmm. and now they can't afford the separate households and to pay all their bills or they got laid off from a job, which is very common in, in this day and age. Okay. Uh, or they have medical bills, they had a medical procedure, so it, it's, it's very, very prevalent. Okay, good. So listen, when we come back, we are going to talk about the top 10 signs that, that indicate that you might be headed for bankruptcy. This is a lot of good information from the Malays Law Firm. So stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Well, if you have found yourself in a financial sinkhole since 2010 has wrapped up, not to fear, we are talking this morning with Todd Malays. He is the owner and the president of the Malays Law Firm. And we're talking about what you can do if you're considering bankruptcy as an option. So in this segment, we'd like to talk about some of the, the warning signs, Todd, because a lot of people may be doing these day to day and not realize that it's a red flag. Let's start with number 10. You say using credit cards to supplement income, that's a major warning. Yes, if, if, you're, if you're putting more on the credit cards than you're spending, on, spending each month, then you're basically using the credit cards to supplement your income, and that's dangerous. Okay. It'll catch up to you. All right, number nine. If you're behind on your 
car or your house payments. Uh -huh. If you've fallen behind, obviously that's dangerous as well. Okay, now, and, and keep in mind that uh, the Malays Law Firm is, is standing by, so if you see some of these signs and you want to get help, call um, as we're doing this yes. segment. Okay, number eight, you say considering a home equity loan to pay creditors, that's a major sign. I see this a lot. People want to take out a home equity loan and use the proceeds to pay off their creditors. That's very dangerous. Okay, now, this is another pitfall that people uh, tend to fall into because they think it's a safe option, borrowing money from the 401k? Yes, anytime you borrow money to pay off creditors, that's a warning sign. That, that is your retirement. Try okay. not to touch your 401k. Okay, we see these companies popping up all over town. Number six, this is a warning sign. You say borrowing money from the payday loan companies. That, that is very dangerous. You, uh, if, if you get to that point, you need to stop and reflect and, and change what you're doing because the, the interest rate is horrible with those mm -hmm. companies. And the lure, obviously, for a lot of folks with that, Todd, is instant cash. Instant cash, and but you got to pay it back quickly. Sometimes long-term trouble could yes. be possibly. Yes. Okay, let's look at number five, credit card raised your payments slash interest rates. Explain this, that. This happened a couple of years ago. The credit card companies increased the interest rates. Um, and they've, they've doubled the minimum payments, they've lowered balances. So credit card companies are making it impossible for people to pay them back. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that we're seeing so many people. Yeah, last minute, just, just frantic, yes. not knowing what decision to make. Okay, number four, this is another warning sign. If, you're, if you've run out of credit, if you've maxed out your credit cards, if you're hitting that limit, not only has it already hurt your credit, so your credit's already in bad shape, but it, it, they're about to cut you off. So if you're approaching your credit limit, that's dangerous. Okay. How often do you see talk who, with people who've come in who've just that that is the case uh, that they've just maxed them out and and they don't that's their last option. That not as often. What really. What I see more is they'll take out additional cards. Additional. Yeah. So okay. It's, they just have too many cards and they really don't realize when those minimum payments add up and when, then when the credit card companies double those minimum payments then you're in a hole you can't you you're can't handle hole. it okay number three this one is is quite common if you're behind on your credit card payments yes if you've fallen behind then it's it's going to be difficult to catch up because that's when they increase the interest rate from eight percent or nine percent to twenty seven percent if you default and, and, and is it still true that a late payment is worse than no payment? It can be, It yes. can be, it can yes. be. Okay, so we're in number two for the top ten warning signs. You say if you're stressed out or you can't sleep, if it's started to affect you physically, psychologically. Correct. If, 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 if you're stressed out, if the people you're around you're making stressed out, if it's affecting your family, uh, then you, you need to get help. I'd imagine, yes, and I'd imagine, Todd, a lot of the people that you see come in are at their wits end, and it has already permeated the relationship. Yes, yeah. they're in it together, but they're, they're, this stress is causing them to have difficulty in their relationship, and if you get rid of a lot of this stress, then things will be much better all the way around. Okay, number one, this is the number one warning sign that you could be headed for some yes. trouble. If you pick up a phone call at work and it's not your mother <laughs> or your best friend, it's a creditor calling, those, you have a problem. Those ugly creditors, Yeah. they will harass you day and night and they'll say mean things. If creditors are calling you, then you need to do something. Yeah. Call us, talk to us, go to the website. We have information there. Uh, bankruptcy, the process for bankruptcy is a lot easier than most people think. Mm -hmm. And if you're at this point, your credit's already bad. So right. filing bankruptcy isn't going to make it worse. Gotcha. That, that makes a lot of sense. And it used to be that creditors, you know, you could file paperwork or take legal action to not have them call you, but the, the point is they want their money. Yes. So the calls are going to come. Yes. Okay, Todd. So now how does someone reach you? Call us at 210-226-5787. Uh, it's also 210 Bankrupt. And uh, you can call now. I have attorneys on standby now. Okay. And uh, you can call day or night or go to our website, malayslawfirm.com. Okay. And, of course, the consultation is free. Absolutely. But that interactive website is tremendous for asking all of those questions that you want to know before you can pick up the phone and call Todd. Todd, yes. thank you. A lot thank of good you, information. Happy you. New Year to thank you. you. you